Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here with the F11 Pro. Friends, I upgraded the lens so that it's not fish eye anymore. I got steps for you, so let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, so I've got her opened up. I peeled off a sticker on the side back when I initially did this, and let's take apart the drone. You will need a small Phillips screwdriver to take this one out. And then I have got a magnetic tray to store everything in. When you slide this forward, there are two little clips down here that you can get out. When you slide it out, be careful because these cables are connected. I'm going to mark mine. I have got a sweet acrylic pen. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to mark some white on the wire. Or I'll put some white on the edge right here so I can tell which side was where the white went. You need to wait for that to dry, or you can come up with an idea with tape, whatever, so that you mark which wire goes to which location. I'm going to carefully pop those off. I've got a little flathead screwdriver that's nice for this process. Just get under and pop. And then I'm going to do the same for the other side that I haven't marked. I'll just know that's the one that goes to the left. And then we're going to remove the servo wires. Same thing, I'm going to use my fingernail and a screwdriver to carefully pop that out nice and straight. It goes underneath, and then the camera wire I'm going to have stay on top. Although when I put it back together, I will check that underneath for it as well. Maybe that is smarter. Fingernails, and pop that little fella straight out. So now the camera is out safely, and then this is the cable that I broke when I did it initially. So I'm making sure I'm super careful with it. If you remember, my test flight footage was a little bit crooked. And if you look at this, I have got this lens a little bit crooked. So if I'd have had that straight, just like that, I believe we would have had totally straight footage. But I missed that on the first assembly. We need to remove the servo holder. I'm going to use a tiny screwdriver to get in there. There are four screws here. And this lens seats right on top of these posts. Make sure you pay attention to those posts when you're uh, reseating it. Simple Phillips. Tiny head. aim your lens down and then it's easier to pull it out now here's the big catch that cable is what i broke so you don't pull it all the way out what you do instead is open this up and let this piece fall free still being very careful of that cable and taking out the little metal guy so i'm going to push this servo down so i've got a little bit more room to extract it and then it just bends out and up to get over that dog leg. This servo wire has a little dog leg that goes in that hole. We're going to use that later. So now we can set this aside. And then as I've said once or twice, be very careful with that cable. That is what I broke and I had to spend $80 on a whole new camera. All right, friends. So when you pull off your original lens, you should be able to just push it out like with a lens cleaner. It's that easy. Now the challenge is we need to take this one and replace it with this one. This one has a deeper edge and a little bit wider bevel. So the technique I used was to take a little Dremel tool sander and I just sanded out the inside with the Dremel tool until the new lens fit. So real quickly, I'm going to take this dude and watch this when we slide it in. I can slide it all the way up to the front. Notice I'm not pushing on the little glass piece. I'm just pushing on the edges. And it comes all the way out to the front just like I'd want. I did put this lens in a lot as I was Dremel tooling it. To find the exact mount. So the old lens, when you screwed it in, 
it had about five millimeters when it was complete. So what I did with this lens was I just put it a little further than that. So we're at about six, seven millimeters, and that's as close as I get for testing. Now I did put it all together to make sure that it worked the other day, but I really couldn't test because I was in a building, so I just went with it. Once I've got it like that, I can slide it in to the adapter. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one so it doesn't fit. If I grab the one that I modded, because of the mods, it now slides all the way up to the front. You can see it comes out there nice, just like we want. And then what I learned the other day is we need to make sure that this piece is straight. That's why my video was a little bit crooked, was because I didn't have that right. Then we come back here and make sure you had the large hole on the left side because that's where the little wire is. I do have it like that. If you push this servo forward manually, it gives you more room to play. You can work it around that dog leg to get it back connected and then push the lens up into those little holes on the front. You'll probably have to manually move that servo back to its other location. <laughs> I can't get a fingernail in there at the minute, so I'm going to do it with the little screwdriver. And with that back moving, now I can drop it into those holes. Make sure it's in the other hole, which it is. Aim the lens down so that it fits in better. And you may have noticed the lens went not straight. I'm going to fix that after I attach it. When you push this in, make sure it's all the way in those holes so it sits on top of these little posts. And then you can screw it down. My screws stayed right in. Then I'll simply screw them back together. All right, so we've got these all tightened in. Then I'm going to go back to my lens and make sure it's straight out. And then back here, let's make sure that we've got it lined up straight. All right, friends, so then just, you can see it's not quite straight in there. So I'm just going to nudge it with a screwdriver. And boom. I think we are ready to go out and capture some new footage. Just like that. That ability to wiggle might explain why they had it glued so it was straight before. All right, friends, let's button her back up. This wire comes under. The other wire, because of how far back it is, I'm still gonna have up above. I'm gonna connect the wire I attached some white to to the side I put the white mark on. Once again, glad I've got that there. The other wire attaches to the other side. Then if I can spin this around so you can see it. The servo wire attaches on the right with the wire sides up. Once again, I'm going to get it close and use a screwdriver to nudge it. Making sure I push it in straight. Same thing for the camera wires. Get it close. Fingernail on one side. Screwdriver on the other. Because I've already learned if you mess up the camera, you're going to spend 80 bucks. Because I've already learned the hard way, if you mess up the camera, you cannot just buy a cable. It's an $80 fix. Once you've got her back together, carefully slide it into place. Make sure you don't have any wires pinched. There was a wire sneaking through there. Slide it back. Find that tiny little black screw and button her back up.
Alrighty friends, so there's how you mod the F11 Pro so you have a non-fisheye lens. There's a little bit in here that's not scientific. That amount that you slide it in and out, that's something you're going to have to mess with. You may have to open it up once or twice, and like you saw with me, I did not have mine totally straight, so I had to open it up again and adjust it as well. But friends, now I've got a non-fisheye lens. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.